only daughter. Let me let me emphasize like I said, only daughter. Mm -hmm. It's all good. I wish you well. I wish you well. Thank you. Hey, hey. wish you well. This is what you're supposed to be telling me. Congratulations, my little bachelor. Thank you. It's a lie. This woman is dead. Back. Here is it. Well, I hope you told her my size and the right color. Um, I miss it, but I bought the one you said. Banana and limba. Okay, just gonna drop it to my room. Alright, thank you. Huh. Are you a learner? Be smart, you know. I need to see a kid today. Ha! Uh, if not, I couldn't have eaten by now. So you don't chop nasty like this now? You never even say, okay, you get one smoothie for us, me just bring something to go. Nothing. Chai, I not tell you. Ha! Uh, if you see a kid, huh. it was loaded. Mm -hmm. I'll be going to visit him. Maybe in the weekend. Yeah. How are your parents? Have? I beg. My parents didn't do that. No fish out. I swear them be poverty na bad thing. Poverty na bad. <laughs> in fact, for my next life after they come, if I want poor, I'll tell God say I better not even bring me come back. Amen. I no fish out. I keep on going. Ah! Now they were going for street to us. Okay, this small money will see remain. Matty go by my guy, my chop, put myself down. That's one idiot. Won't go to carry us back. Go they toss me. <laughs> Hey, no, I swear that I look the guy's shoe. Me. This my hair with the same tango. My one is dirty. If I'm an animal. Hey. So, you mean he just wants you to trek or just use bike to come and see me? <laughs> ah, <laughs> you need to see you, okay? <laughs> if you see car. <laughs> no ordinary car. If you see car. <laughs>
Chima. Peter, you mean your goose will soon arrive. <laughs> um, Peter, you need to come to China. I never knew this is how these importers make their money. Are you serious? Hi! I am happy for you to have gone to this China. But if you ask me, where will I get this money to travel to China? There's no money. I'll just have to manage the little one I have until the big one comes. Then I can travel to China with you. The money will come. Just have patience. You don't have to have too much of money to come to China. Just a little money. Pay 50% of the goods and the others will be released to you. Just like that? Just like that. Hi! Chimao. I am so happy for you to have gone to China. But you see this China? You keep telling me China, China. I can't wait to see this China. I want to see China. This is Odoguna China. Hi! Ofudimpa na China. Hi! I am one of the movers and shakers of China. You mean these are the names they call in China? Odogu na China. Dimpa na China. In case you like, are you serious? <laughs> I want to wear this stuff as this kind of a name. Money will call. Money will call, man. Chima, stop telling me money. Wow, now help me. I want to go to this China. Money will call. Money will call, man. I need to. I need to be like you, not cheap. Wow, I love this. What a surprise. Yes, baby. You see, for the very first time, I set my eyes on you. Like the first time we met, I knew we were meant for each other. Please, can I at least have the privilege to be your husband? Please. You have it already. Thank you. Angel. It's beautiful. Just to, for one night. I wonder the type of man I will marry her. Do you think any man will agree to marry her? I don't think so. Very soon she will realize what she did to herself. Very soon. She will marry her. <laughs> she will marry her. <laughs> her. <laughs> her. 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 But any time you enter this room, it will be like a place that mad man makes. My sister, what is our business? My point is that as long as they pay us good money, I will eat good food. That man is the business, so you should not let her leave that all the whole place. It's none of my business. We will clean it. Let them pay us good money, no problem. If we say, in my mind, if I save enough money, I'm living here, and they will employ another person. <laughs> hey, that is it now. Look at that man. Does she know how to do anything? The daughter, she doesn't know how to do anything. Both of them, nothing. I'm just in trouble. So one day someone will marry Sophia as a wife. Keep for that one. one. I can see that person seriously. How should we send this? My princess. Daddy. I am very, very happy for you. At least the world will now know that my daughter, my princess, will get married eventually. <laughs> oh, Daddy, I just can't. Wait, like I'm super excited. Val is cute, he's intelligent, smart. He has so many qualities. Well, I had to show him that I was really brought up well by my parents. For the past one month, we've been talking, and I haven't been to his house. I didn't look again. Bling, bling. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Hmm? My joy is that he will not take you for granted. At least you've shown him that you came from a well-reserved home. Yes. Hmm? Well, my princess, like I said, I've always been proud of you. But now you make me more proud. Not just because of your beauty and your wonderful disposition. Because you're one in a million. Uh, I just can't wait to give you both grandchildren. What are we stopping? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Mm -hmm. You are now almost a mother, a married woman. Oh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it. Look at this molly yesterday. Sophia. 
Honestly, I'm meeting you already. Come on, mom, stop. She is never born to suffer. She is never born to suffer. I think my daughter made mention of this a few days ago. So you're welcome. A woman, go and call your daughter. Okay, honey. Um, as you say, you're back. We need to leave here. This is what we came to. I'm a chief. I said I was going out. I was going to come here because I wanted to say thank you. And see the people that does such a wonderful dance and so forth. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, my princess. Daddy. Is that the man you told us about? Yes, Dad. Mommy, he's the one I told you about. So cute. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, young man. I like you. You're a good looking man. Mm -hmm. And I believe you have a very good means of livelihood. As long as you have good intentions for my daughter, you're welcome to this family. Thank you so much, Chief. Thank you very much, Chief. I. Johnson's friend and our colleagues thank the both of you from the depth of our hearts. Well, thank you. Anyway, oh, we'll be going to rest. Let's go and something. What's my business? 
For all I know is that Sophia will never agree to one down. We can't call it. That is fine. No, let's do something for you. You can see for yourself now. Yeah? Yeah? You've seen it for you, you saw you saw this man is bastardly rich. So that when you go back to the village, you can tell Papa Mama what you saw for yourself. This man is rich. Ah <laughs> Valentine. Hey brother, there are times you make me laugh. Don't tell me you want to marry this guy because of uh, his father's money. You have grown past this. Then what came? I am your elder brother. Whatever I see while sitting down, if you climb a little bit, you will not see it. Better open your eyes. But then you saw the way they were us. You saw the way the man gave us drink, as if we were already in loss. You saw it now. Eh? But then, what are you talking about now? Uh, just see, you, are you not there? Telling you. Eh? Was, wow. <laughs> Let us bring in this good thing into our family, brother. I did not ask not to marry the girl, but you have to look very, very well before you leave. Everything that guitars are not gold. I'm telling you. Well, it's your choice. Whatever you decide to do. But are you sure you're with me on this one? I, I will you. support you. I will support you, but you have to be very careful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So if you reach if you reach home, you know what you tell me. Okay, you cannot drop me off to the park. Okay. That is really beautiful. Thank you. You can say that. Don't, 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 look, don't look too much so that you don't take care of from you. Can you imagine? My friend now is not, he's not <laughs> praising my wife on a meet. I can imagine how you are feeling. <laughs> you know, now, you know what I was doing for my own. <laughs> it's true, it's not like that. Uh, Josie, yes. you are next in line. Oh. I know. Yeah, 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 he's making a point. You know, you like you guys younger. You like uh, Perusian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just spoke like a panda. <laughs> finding, finding, the, finding the right girl. Yeah. 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 I wish he made it himself to this place. That'd be so nice. Well, soon we'll feast the traditional wedding now. Of course. Yeah, that's for sure. It's close. I don't want to waste time. Oh, finally. I can feel free to go to his house and return anytime I want. Mm -hmm. You're right. He's such a cute and intelligent young guy. Huh? What? <laughs> uh, I think he has done so well for himself to have been in that position of stage. Yes, I think he is. Absolutely. Well, I think he's a very lucky young man. He is. Because under normal circumstances, I will not allow a working class man to marry my daughter, hmm. my princess. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> with what I see, I think he looks smart and intelligent and he's handsome. Hmm. So, <laughs> my daughter, your, your wedding will be the best in town. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Dad. I know what you can do. I'm very sure that all your business associates will be there. Who will fail to come? <laughs> Nobody will dare that. Um, as a matter of fact, it is going to be a first class wedding. Sure. My daughter, you've been making me proud, but now you make me more proud. Oh. <laughs> make us, not you. <laughs> um, my angel, listen, you have to play your card very, very well. It, let him start preparing for your both wedding, your traditional and your white wedding. Okay? Yes, mommy. You're welcome. Make your way right on. Turn off the road or to your right. Yes. It's 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 it's, it's an untired road.
home did you find it too complicated in this place? No, really. Alright. Mm. So, this is where you live. Well, this is where I live. You're welcome to my humble abode. You don't have gates, man. Uh, no, I don't have a gate, man. I live here alone. That's it. Oh. You don't even have mates. Sweetheart, like I said, I live here alone. I do my house chores by myself. I open the gate by myself. Hmm? It's my property. I take care of it. Though I have a woman that normally comes every week that I pay weekly that sweeps the compound. But that's not a problem. You know how to take care of it. Oh. Okay, but after we get married, you will definitely not be staying here. Um, I think you're right. <laughs> Let's go in. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome, darling. Beautiful flower, in a man house, Beautiful flower, in a rich man's house. Mano chikwego, akwita lo totalate. You have a nice place. The sun, it will be a better one. Well, thank you. With you, here, to be a better one. <laughs> You're welcome to your house. Um, what is this you're watching? Auntie. Don't you have DSTV or something? Uh, well, I I have DSTV. But I've not subscribed for quite some time now because I'm busy with work and I don't have time to watch TV. Oh. Well, you really, really need to subscribe because I can't stay here without it. TV is practically my life. It's okay, honey. <clears throat> so, what do I offer you? Don't worry. If I want something, I'll get it later. Um, by the way, what kind of DSTV do you use? Ordinary or Explorer? Um, <clears throat> it's not an Explorer. It's no more DSTV. Come on, baby. You're a guy with swag. You need to... to upgrade. As for me, I cannot stay without watching Kim Kardashian or Fashion Palette. Please, you just need to subscribe as well. Hmm? Uh, okay. I'll do that. But first, let me take this inside. Um, should I come with you? Sure, it's your house. Let me show you around. Okay, okay. If we're going to want a model for my higama, what a model with the golden spoon. What a juicy echo we saw. Yari yari. What a name I live in. Yari yari. Hey, mama, my only child, yeah. Mama, you are never born to suffer. Baby. Honey. Honey. Baby. Honey. 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 Baby. It's me, up. I have to leave for work now, okay? Baby. Mm. I have to leave for work, okay? You're leaving me here. So you don't have to work. Alright? I've said I'm even late. Okay, you know what? On the table, on the dining table, I have different beverages. You can fix yourself breakfast and anything you want to eat. Okay? Mm. Okay. So I have to leave. Um what about my lunch? Huh? 
So here I have different food stores in the kitchen store. Okay, you can cook, cook whatever you want to eat and you'll be fine. Alright? I have to leave now, okay? I'll call you later. Alright? Take care of yourself. I'll call you. Restaurant for lunch. Well, you can help us. No, this can serve as food for me now. Eh? I thought you would have prepared cutting porridge, yam. What's even the simplest food? Noodles or something? Well, I was tired. Come on, baby. We can we can just go to any fast food or rather restaurant. To eat, you know they have all kinds of food, and you be able to make a choice, like your planted porridge, like you mentioned. Hmm? Just have this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> How's it? It's fine. I'm going to change the new macros. Lest I forget, I'll be coming over with my friends tomorrow hmm? for a little get together. I'll give you some money so that you go to the market and prepare or have soup and pepper soup. Okay? Please. Okay. Well, I'm in the pile. Your phone is ringing. Oh, okay. Thank you. 
Hello, my sweet angel. How are you? What is wrong with you? What? Okay. No problem. Just hold on, okay? I'll get back to you now. Alright. Take care. Okay, we'll talk later. You called me. Um, I wanted to make up a list of ingredients for her soup and pepper soup. Forward it right now to Sophia's phone. Okay? Okay, ma. Okay. All right, ma. Hmm. Hmm. Too bad. So this boy does not even have a house help. No. No. My daughter cannot stand this. Honey, how can my daughter survive the world? Yeah? Hmm. You must get her email if actually you really wants to marry her. <laughs> that boy should not take my apple for granted because I accepted him like that. I will make sure that before he comes to pay my daughter's dowry, that he will employ a domestic assistant. Good. Because my daughter was not born to suffer. How can you subject her to cooking? Gosh. Honey, just be sure of that. Um, that will, not, that will not happen. That will not happen, I say. The only thing I can suggest for now is let her do it. But it will be the first and last time. And I will talk to him. Where he doesn't want to listen, I will take my daughter away from him. Apple of my eyes, Alright, baby. I have to run along now. Okay? According to our discussion, please try as much as possible to buy everything the money I give to you. Myself and my friends might call me anytime. Alright? Um, when are you getting the house help? You know, I need help. Um, sweetheart, don't worry. Hmm? Before you finally move back in, trust me, I'll get someone. Okay? Please take care of yourself. Alright? See you later. Where do I start from? Where's it my phone? Please, I want you to rush down and pick up a cab. Okay? Rush to Woji Market. Sophia will meet you up there. I want you to help her to buy those ingredients that you listed. Okay? Pick up your cab fare. Okay. Just. Please rush, okay? Yes, ma'am. Can you imagine the life this punk boy has reduced my daughter into? It's okay. Let her finish today. But God knows before he will say anything about marriage, he must get her a maid. I even cook. Me cook. Besides, who will open these gates? Why should I suffer like this? How much will it cost to get a gate man to open and close this gate? How much? 
can't continue like this. I just can't. Kardashian, watch Kim Kardashian all day long. But I imagine, you can imagine, these girls know all the channels on the DSTV, all the single channels on the DSTV, and they know the time they start. <laughs> this is what we tell you, it's time they start like this. All of them, they know the time they start. It's crazy. Um, guys, uh, all these ones you guys are saying, I'm not just a party of that. All I just want now, all I have in my head is to write it down perhaps. You. So please just take me there. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll see you guys for no more. Mommy, I can't wait to munch so that you person. will eat what my beloved we cook. So that you say. Wait though. Is it, is it because it's me? Like, I don't understand. The today's meeting, I don't understand it. Oh, I don't understand that I'm empty anymore. What are those rules are with me? What, what's, what's all that? I don't understand though, like them saying uh, deduction of our CO2. <laughs> you imagine? It's gonna affect our work. Why? Right. For what? For that, you see, to, to be honest with you, that girl is a very small one. And you ask me, she doesn't look like somebody who's ready for marriage. I was actually about to say that. Okay. Which girl are you talking about, my fiance? Of course, she looks too young for marriage if you ask me. But is it your business? No. This is, this is my choice. Please, are we guys going to the house to be this food in peace or not? Why are you angry? <laughs> Can't someone play with you? My brother, tell me. Why are you joking now? We're friends. If I don't tell you the truth, we're we as well. You push, you go and get your own wife. Right? Yeah, we will. I know, Someday. I, 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 I know you get it. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> we will. Fine girl, no doubt. She's a yeah. fine girl. No, no, this is beautiful fine. girl. man's dream, boy. You know, pizza and all those girls you have in our bank and our branch. You should not pretend you want to get one. Others are going to forget the entire meal. That is selective, sir. Let me find out if you got attitude. Oh, man, it's crazy. I'm sure it's because of the nature of the job. That's why most of them behave like that. There's nothing wrong if you bring plain girls in the bank. I mean, to work in the bank, right? Yeah. I'm satisfied with my own, okay? So go get you. Yeah, you're lucky to find one anyway, bro. Somebody sounds like a jealous. Oh, yeah. I'm a married man to me, you know. You know what? Are you seeing the man before you are home? Heading home now. Okay. Take care of yourself, okay? You okay? You come back We are not going to do this. What are you doing here? Why did you follow her to come prepare the soup? No, mm, she said she would not know if you asked her to see me, but I'll explain some things to her and pray for her. she said there is only problem that she will call me and I will explain. Please go, 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 go and continue with that and go. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm.
I will check her. I've done what she asked me to do. So, what's the next thing? Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright. Just after I ate before coming here. Pastor, 
can make with my own. You can finish it up for me. Wow. Well, I have to start. Excuse me. boiled hot water. It's not her fault that she was born that way. It's her destiny. So you should not put her through that. Sir, I did not humiliate her. Neither did I, did I subject her into any kind of suffering. I only, I only asked her to prepare food for my friends and I. That's all. Oh. Can you just listen to yourself? You only ask her to prepare food for you and your friends. As what? As who? Does she look at your house? Oh. I'm asking you. In addition to that, look at her very well. Does she look like those restaurants where they put up sign, the food is ready? You didn't ask her to cook for you as a husband. 
you ask her to cook for you and your friends. Do you know who she is? This is the prettiest girl in the whole world. Sorry. I don't blame you. I wish you knew the family you entered, then you will subject her to that type of treatment. Eh? What's wrong with you? Uh, okay, sir, I'm sorry. Okay? I'm, I'm very sorry. Just that I did not mean it the way you, you're taking it. I, I, I didn't hey, hey, quiet! Do not speak when my dad is still speaking. Now listen to me, young man. When you are ready to marry my daughter, you let me know. And you must ensure that you will equip your house with house help, all the domestic servants, get men, and what have you. When you do that, then I know you are ready to marry her. Because she doesn't have to do her own chores. She was never born to suffer. She was born with silver spoon. We saw golden spoon mm -hmm. in her mouth. I know her. Um, honey. I don't think this man, I don't think this thing here is prepared to marry my daughter. Honey, let me tell you, it's all my fault. I should have asked you to declare your asset before giving my daughter away to you. Okoko. Huh? Um, I think um, you have overstayed your work. Please, the door is wide open. Can you stand up and leave? What kind of idea? You're still there. Did you stand hear her? Leave. Go. Rich man, rich man, hey, hey, young man, if hey. you got the water, I think you should have got the water. I can't do it. I got in super. What did you say? 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 What you are never going to be a good person. I am going I don't think I want to be so happy. My dear sister, do you remember? You know, my dad was a great for what she said. Hey, baby, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. I don't think I want to talk anymore. Teaching her how to cook. It's not my fault now. Can you even imagine the way she was talking to someone today? The clothes were as if it was the wall or something. Sorry, do you think you're still gonna go to my house? I don't think so. See, you will see. If it happens to be my brother, eh? I'll make sure he does not come back to this house again. My sister, forget that thing. You can't tell me the guy is in love. Oh, you know, boys of now are busy. It's after my name, so I achieve a certain moment. Maybe one big match up. You can't tell them, so leave that thing. You know, you did. He's not at the young Jesus. My cousin married from a rich woman. He suffered it. Look, the father of the kid did not give him a one year bed. See, eh? you need to see the way he abandoned the girl. And run away all Sunday. Oh, hey, boy, hey, so. <laughs> okay, mom, dad, let me tell you guys what happened. Val gave me several thousand naira to cook soup. Or her soup to be precise. Seven thousand naira. The largest out there, he said I should also add pepper soup. Oh, hold oh, on. Oh, oh. The seven thousand naira here is for the hot soup. Yes. Several thousand. <laughs> okay, Daddy, you guys know I've never done that before, right? Then I decided to give it a try. I prepared the soup. His friends came. One tested and said, eh, I ate before coming, so I'm full. The other one said, eh, Val, I think you can have my own. 
Imagine. Then they left. The worst part is that Val even went to drop them. Okay, later at night, Val came back and bought Coke and Gala. But that was what he wanted to have for dinner. Then told me so clear to my face that I should go and eat that soup. But what you knew that that soup was salty. So how did he expect me to eat it? Can you just listen to your daughter? Hmm? You know what? I will not even say anything. Until he refuses to hire those maids and house help like I asked him to. I won't say anything. Does she look like a cook or a professional cook? He should want to look for a professional cook to cook for him. What, was she born to cook? When she can't even do ordinary house chores here, somebody will subject my daughter to cooking. Is she a chef? But, Daddy, Mommy, I'm scared. What if Val refuses to marry me? He will try no such thing. Not after proposing to you. Does he know who I am? If he tries it, I will wreck him in this town. I will let him know that we are the ones that run this country. Yeah. I just do that. Me? But the thing is, um, you know, I already told my friends that I'm getting married. So it's going to be a very shameful thing if my marriage just cut off like that. Hey, honey, I think you. Don't even let that bother you. Don't even let that bother you, my sisters. I think she's right. Well, if that man wants to. Uh, where is he going to run to? Huh? Hmm. Anyway, I trust you, Dad. Guys. I've seen shit. Afuagubanya. So tell us, Val, how did it go? Oh, God. Do you know, it is now I am beginning to understand the kind of girl I, I was about to get married to. The kind of girl I was about to bring into my home as my wife. Now I understand. I, I, now I understand. But wait, you've, you've not said anything. Can you tell us how did the meeting go with the girl's father? That is what we want to hear. He gave me two commandments. What? Commandments. Strong commandments. Stronger than the one we have in our bank of our words. Okay. First, uh, that uh, I am supposed to employ the services of a, a, a housemaid that will be helping her to cook and do the house chores. Then the second one is that I'm supposed to employ the services of a gate man that will be opening the gate at will anytime she wants to go out and come in at my age. Uh, that's not all though. The one that blew my mind that will shock the both of you is uh, that he forgot to ask me to declare my assets for agree for me to marry his daughter. <laughs> oh, you're laughing. <laughs> it's funny now, Abby. Oh, God damn it. You should declare your asset. Is Sophie a public office that you have to declare your asset before you go into? Ask me. So, well, tell me, are you still going to marry that girl after all this? Me? Marry Sophia? Hey, <laughs> God. As my friend and colleague, if I come and meet you and tell you that despite all this, I'm still going ahead with the wedding plans, will you advise me to continue? Would you ask me to go to a psychiatric hospital? <laughs> that would be over my dead body. Why would I do that? Oh yeah, even though the, the, the father warned me, he warned me specifically and said, eh, I should not disappoint his daughter that if I do that, that he's going to deal with me. Rubbish. That's the greatest life from the pit of hell. Rubbish! Who is see after all? Can he threaten you? Tomorrow that small thing? Give you command now, you know, do de declare. But guy, <clears throat> it's simple. Like telling you to get a house help, to get a gate man who can open and close for you. Tell him you don't have money. Then if he insist, then let him get you one. Simple. He get with a gift you guy not like him. Yeah. Make you employ now. I don't need it. Okay, now let me shock the both of you. Do you know that this girl, Sophia, in question, despite her beauty, has never in her entire life boiled hot water? Serious? Do you know that? You both know how much I love food. You know? So, 
even this ordinary hot water, she has never boiled forever. Now the simplest food noodles she cannot even prepare. And you are asking me Seriously. to go ahead with no, that's the end though. Oh, guy. I will not. Well, I will not blame you, Shabo. Now you fuck up. Now you. Because after all the girls we see everywhere, everywhere, it can't be seen that small girl. Small. What do you even see for that girl? So I don't understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, the both of you, you're conniving yes, now. Everywhere. You're conniving against me, Abby. Oh, what small thing that they tell you to declare say they give you commandment? <laughs> Oh, you want to say something? Should I just go ahead? Six. What? Love is no, no, stuck no, to no, my no, friends, no, I just no, can't be! Also, know you don't have that kind of money for such uh, such thing. Come on, guys. This food is delicious, and I wouldn't like it when you spoil this uh, good moment with Sophia's mother. Mm. I am going to tell that boy that he cannot mess with my daughter. He cannot disappoint my daughter and get away with it. He only came here to mess up my family. Honey, that boy will not go free. He will not go scot free. Can you imagine that? How can he just use my daughter? Don't pass us like that. How no? We have told you guys to, to forget it. I will deal with him myself. No, my princess. I said no. Do you know what that boy has just done? He poked into my eyes. Don't you know you are the apple of my eyes? Daddy, I know that. That's why I'm telling you to let him be. No. Nobody's going to let him go. Allow your dad to deal with that idiot. He's simply a poor man. Can you imagine he couldn't even afford ordinary housemates? And he's coming here to look in search of my daughter for marriage? Gosh, please, just let me mess with him myself. That is my shoes. Besides, I saw a diamond store. It's little, but it's nice. It's five thousand naira. I need to change my phone. I saw an iPhone 6s, and I think that phone is cool for me. Baby, I have a lot of things to do in money now. Why are you asking me? I have a lot of things to do in money. Please tell me I'm dreaming. Because all this is you just mentioned only happens in dream life. Very hectic day, and I need to rest my head because I'm going to work tomorrow. Okay? 
Barrister Charles Okbara. Yes, sir. Mm. Well, tradition is tradition. First thing first. Uh, before we go on to tell you why we are here, let me present uh, our own column. <clears throat> Cheap drink. Very cheap drink. You are welcome anywhere. So what brought you to my house? Uh, Chief, let me go straight to the point. We are here to seek your daughter's hand in marriage. My nephew here, Barrister Charles Okbara, saw a beautiful flower in your compound. So I came here with him as tradition demands. Are you saying that our precious angel is a flower? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um. Young man, <laughs> are you just a barrister or a son? Yeah, sir, I'm just a barrister. I'm not a son. But I hope someday I'll become one. Yes, a real barrister. Yeah. He was caught to the bar. Oh, so they have real one and the fake one? So, how many cars do you have, and where do you live? Um, sir, yeah, I I have just one car, and I live in our other one chapel side. <coughs> <coughs> um, it's okay. The three bedroom flat. Yes, good one. Yes, comfortable. You don't have a car, mm. yet you have the guts to walk into my house and seek for my daughter's hand in marriage. What what guts? And then you live in Awada. Yes. And that's the area where they share one common toilet and one common bathroom. You have to wake up 5.30 or 6 o'clock in the morning to make it to the toilet or be the first to take your bath. Oh. That's why you want to take my princess to. Oh. Do you know who you're asking for a hand in marriage? The most beautiful girl in the whole world. My angel. You are living in an animal kingdom. Whatever you call it, Awada or whatever. You want to come and marry my daughter. What class do you have? You're classless. Look at how you're dressed. Look at the color of your is it your monkey jacket or suit? What, what would I call this? You want to come and marry my daughter. Look at his shoes. Look, look, look at his shoes. Ah. Oh my god. Hey, get up. I say up. Are you sitting down? You you came in this way, right? Yeah, yes. Sir. Okay, see yourself out this way. Leave. Take it tomorrow. Hey, 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 Mama. Come on, this is Take this, your. Uh, uh, go with your. Your, your liver killer. This is. Go, 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 go. Take this and go with you. Ah. I'll break it. Hey, come on, here. come on, here. Please. Check, 
Ini semua di sikur rumah kan. Chai. Ah, are you dreaming? Are you sure this guy eats the rich bread? Maybe you're not even wanting it. I wonder. Of course. Without time. Without time. Uh, honey. You see, I want this wedding to be a talk of the town. Okay. Um, let's just um make do a little preparation for like um two hundred guests. Two hundred guests. Nice me. For the proper wedding or the introduction. The wedding itself. <laughs> oh no, that's not possible. I mean, two hundred guests. Sweetheart, there is a friend in my department. Her name is Alicia. You need to see Alicia's wedding. Over five thousand people there. They fed every single person. In fact, they have different departments. They have even up to shower man, chap man, fried rice, chicken, every single thing you need in the wedding, they have it there. You're talking about 200 guests. No, my day has to count. Baby, we don't have a room to make our wedding to be like their own. Besides, you don't know what they are doing. You don't know what they do, the kind of business they do, the kind of things they do for, for them to be able to afford that kind of flamboyant wedding. Okay. Think about it now. Yeah? We have to be very, very, very prudent. We have to be. be we, we just have to be easy on spending. Let us cut our coat according to our size. That's not our cloth. It's a matter of fact. I don't need your coat and I don't know your size. I don't know what you're talking about. I want my wedding to count. Is it too much to ask? What is it? You're getting married just once and you want us to spend this month the whole money we have because we're doing just one wedding? It doesn't make sense. Okay, fine. How many girls are you contacting for that wedding? Um, I have seven pretty girls in my department. Yeah. And there's this girl that just came in. She is cute. I'm making it seven then. Um, my friend has some friends in her hostel that will be beautiful. And give her to say 16 people. Guess what? Hmm. There's this list that just came out. It's called the Twin Days. It is expensive. Like a yard, 350,000 naira. <laughs> I'm telling you, I you know we have to buy it so they can buy as well. So the money has to be available. Then there's this um, Ashoke, they do in Lagos. They will stone it. You understand? You stone it and then you use three yards. There's only do it. You pleat it and then there's another three yards you do for them. They wrap in. Like, there's this. Baby! That is too much. I'm too expensive. All these beads, beaded lace, beaded all this one, all these jewelries you're talking about, they are expensive. Besides, what would these girls be doing on that day? Wow. Just for Shabby! Wow, please don't piss me off! You obviously do not know who you're getting married to. I am Olivia, and my friends call me Her Royal Majesty. I have to keep to it. Do you understand? In fact, I'm tired of all this to a fish market. Let's get a wedding planner. I don't have money for a wedding planner. You didn't get to I don't have. What are you even talking about? Wedding planner? How would that come from? Where, where, where would that money come from? Besides, have you forgotten that you're still in school? You're in your finals. You need money for your projects. You need money to pay for your rent in school. You need all these things that come from one person's pocket, for God's sake. Sir, wow, I am tired. I am tired. I don't even know what I'm talking to you. Get that money. What an expensive marriage. Fuck it. How are you this? Hey! Huh. Uh, uh, Olivia, you're becoming too expensive, oh. You're becoming too expensive. If not that you know how to cook and know how to take care of the house, what would I be doing with you in the first place? My angel. <laughs> I wish you I wish you had seen the so called virus. He's nothing but a gold digger. Now you see why I have decided that any man that is coming here to marry you must declare his assets. Exactly. You need to come and see their shoes. Hmm. <laughs> the worst of all, he's even just an ordinary charge and bill. Uh -huh. You couldn't, you can't even boast of two households. <laughs> what? And he came to marry Sophia. Oh. Me. Ah. And you should have called me down. You should have called me down so I can insult her out of him. It's okay, honey. I have discharged him. You know the one that really hurt me the most? The fact that when he mentioned where he lives, Awada. Awada. Eh? This is a place. <laughs> exactly what I did. This is a public <laughs> building where they share one common toilet, 
one common bathroom. And they must be on a queue. Then one day, one day, a woman who lives in the compound will ask my princess that it's her turn to sweep the compound. Hey! Or maybe wash the toilet and clean the bathroom. Yes, now. Hello. Because huh? they don't have house help. Hey, then anybody coming from my hand in marriage must be well to do. Yes. Not just that, it must be filled to rich with enough house helps. Not like that mistake I made with Star Bifra. Please, 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 don't even bring up that stupid. I won't word. let that please. happen to you again. Just it will not mind. happen. Okay? Don't just pull my mind, please. Allow that issue to go. Awada, you want to marry me? You can't be my stamp barista home. If it were to be my father, <laughs> you would accept him. For real? You need to see the kind of drink they even bought. Very cheap. But why would your dad allow such a man to marry you? You need to know my father. But my mom, hell no. She would definitely object to it. Well, you know my dad always have the final say. Hmm. I just allow that idiotic, low-life banker to fool me. But I'm very sure I will do it today. The man that will marry me must be filthy rich. That is it. Well, <laughs> can damn it up with some money instead of depend on monthly salary. <laughs> Please, I don't want to call with any of this banker, lawyer, person. I don't want to So, finally, your banker of a fiance. Sorry, your banker is getting married. Well, that's good for him. You know, he can't marry me in way bigger than him. But you know, I can pop more smoke than him. You dare not. Try it. You know, don't dare me. Just try. affecting my business. Oh. Besides, this is my Wala Wala has been giving me problems. Oh, okay. You know, I saw Pascal the other time and he told me we're having issues with your girl. Oh, my brother, Peter, I wanted to marry Sophia. You know Sophia now. I know Sophia. She has been really well. Her daughter. Her girl, I know her. Okay. So what happened? My brother, they said I don't have money. So I'm not eligible to marry Chief Indigenous Buster. The girl in question, no beauty for not disputing that is that you don't know to do anything at all. She barely knows that she, she barely cooks. She doesn't even know how to cook. Now they said that if I will have to marry Chief's daughter, that I will have to employ the services of a housemaid. A special housemaid that will wash her pants. <laughs> A special housemaid that will take care of the cooking. A special housemaid that will even help her in making the beds and cleaning the house. Not the order of then a gate man that will be opening the gate for her anytime she wants to go out and come in. <laughs> My brother. Do you know um, I was actually expecting to hear some good news? We're well, a banker now. We're supposed to fit in. My brother, it was supposed to be a good news, but it eventually turned out to be a Bad news. But you know my prayer for Chief. My prayer for him is that he will meet his match one day. Amen. He will actually meet somebody that will treat him badly. Amen. You know they took me to court. They took me to court now. For disappointing his daughter. They said uh, I, I disappointed his daughter. That his daughter was as told everybody that she's getting married. All of a sudden I disappointed her. Are they mad? Are they, like, are they mad? How will I know? They are supposed to be happy that you, a good man like Mr. Bao, is trying to manage their daughter who doesn't know how to manage their daughter. Hi! 
But it's okay, no problem. She meant it that she has gone her way. Yeah, Sissy, you know my prayer for you? That God will give you your match. A very good woman. Thanks, man. So, um, what do you care for? Ah, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry. You know, I just left the office. Okay. I was supposed to make inquiries, then meet up with one or two clients, but it didn't work out, so I have to get back. My brain is almost over, I have to get back to the office. You can do that later in the evening, you know. All right, bro. <laughs> I'll get to it. I'll be expecting you. All right, we'll call you. Expecting you. My lord! about this girl, even her parents. This girl will embarrass you. Chima, Chima. You sound as if you don't, you no longer know me, Peter. You still save me, oh, the old Peter you've known. I have everything up here. So Peter, you're not getting it. You're not getting it. You see, this girl, this girl, this girl, she's from, from a wealthy family. You have nothing. You are just managing yourself. Allow this girl to go. She will, she will ridicule you. You see, I've got plans of marrying this girl. And I must marry her. As I speak to you, I have some little money to execute all of my plans. All I'm asking for is just for a little assistance. Plans. Plans. Yes. How? Okay, listen, it's like this. You see, it's very good what we're talking about. It's a national, it's like a national kick for every man out there. So I want to have her as my own national kick. <laughs> national kick. All I'm asking you for right now is just for you to please try and play along with me. And everything will come out good. National kick. National kick. I'm good, I'm good. You're good to go right in. That's my man! Hey baby, come now. What is it? What is hey baby, it? wonder how many months now? I don't think this girl is ready to settle down. I like Sophia. Imagine a barrister that every girl in this town will be happy to marry. That's the kind of man she doesn't want to settle down with. I don't think she's ready to settle down. My dear sister, huh? my anger is that those men didn't even have time to notice us. I've not shown my interest to any of them. Hey, Barry. Hey, we're all cute guys. Very cute. Next time, I will come out to show myself. Uh-uh. Can we be here? Men will be tripping in the out. Me too. Just for one person. <laughs> So this is how you people gossip about me? No. In my house. In my own father's house. You know what? Today marks the end of your job in this house. Okay, no problem. Chica, I'm going in there to pack my things. I'm no longer working. Hey, I'm with you. By the way, I'm even tired of this job. I'm just going to pack our things and go now. What is that? Hey, wait, 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 wait. How can you live like that? Eh? Who will prepare lunch for us today? Molly! Molly! Yes. Mommy, come! What is it? Hmm. Mommy, look. I caught this. This two cheap things gossiping about me. What? And when I threatened to fire them from their job, do you know what they said? They were even ready to go. What? Hey. Hey. Stop. Is that so? Hey, Barry. Chica. Has it gotten to that? That both of you cannot sit down and gossip my daughter. Ma, we're not gossiping her. We're only talking. Uh, uh, that, that, that we've not seen her husband. Uh, Auntie Sophia came out and threatened to fire us. 
we are so paid now. My bad, we are even tired of this job. There is just go. Oh, you are searching for a husband. Please, my daughter, forgive them. Hmm? You heard them. They are searching for husband. Please, forgive them. Okay? And listen, let today be your first and the last time you ever try that. Have you heard me? Let it repeat itself. This gentleman is here to ask for your hand in marriage. His name is Peter. As you can see, you don't need much introduction or for me to start carrying out any type of investigation to assess how wealthy he is. Wealth is written all over him. And on top of it, he's a good looking man. So, what do you think? I don't. This is shocking. I mean, I, ca I can't believe my ears. Pascal, don't you think our jobs are on the line? Yeah. You're right. I don't know why they have to take such a decision on him, especially now that he's planning his wedding. You see? This is where they gave me the final finishing. top. Now tell me. How would I cope? Yeah? What am I going to do? What will I do? Val, I'll talk to the manager. Yeah? Sure. You see, I don't want to believe Chief Idejindu's hand is in this. You know that man has a lot of say in our bank. Yes, you're right. Oh, now I see. No. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. I don't want to believe that thing. TV did you know? How? No, <laughs> no, let me say good readers to bad rubbish. No, I don't want to believe that. Eh? Wait, if I find out, oh God, if I find out by any hook or crook that he is involved in this, mm, it, oh, let me not say anything first. Is it by force to marry somebody's daughter? Is it by force? Daddy. Yes. Like, I really like him. And I feel he has everything to make me happy. Exactly. It's written all over him. I don't see him like one of those boys that comes in search of Money and I want to marry a rich man's daughter stuff thing. You mean gold diggers? Exactly. Ah, I think I like him. Peter is a businessman. That alone qualifies him. You know, I can't phantom myself acknowledging those boys that make money every month. Especially that one that works at the bank they call Val. Very soon he will realize what he did to himself. 
trying to mess with my princess. Oh, Dad, <laughs> please, just forget about that rat. Okay, my bad. My bad, I'm sorry. We're talking about rich men. <laughs> and rich men interact with their fellows. Exactly. Like, I just, I just can't wait for him to propose. Oh. Honey, honestly, I'm just too happy. I'm happy because this young man is going to take good care of my daughter. And I wouldn't want her to suffer, even for one day. I think, not at all. And I think, um, Peter is good. It's good to be my son-in-law. <laughs> She's gonna go into a safe hand, and Peter is a safe hand. That's true. I believe so. Um, Peter, you mean this is going to work? <laughs> um, guys, this is just the beginning. I'm going to make sure I do everything possible to make this girl fall in love with me. Do you know that the parents they already like me? And I just don't want to waste time in engaging this girl. <sighs> you see, I was skipping. I was trembling. Now let's go to the next plan. What's the next plan now? Um. Oh. Hmm. As I speak to you guys, I've paid for the house rent. I've hired two cats. Oh, you know? Yeah. I'm bringing you in on that. You already know what you're acting at. Yeah, yeah. Besides, I have a little one more girl. I had also spoken to the guy who been playing the game man as well. And remember, we pay you guys handsomely. Mm -hmm. But was me. You look we finish. You won't turn me to your house here. Don't be like that. Well, anything for the money. I'm paying. Yeah, I've talked to my friend Rita. She's gonna join us. Oh, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Um, you know, um, I just want to make sure before the six months house rent expires, I should be able to have a work with this girl and get all I need from my parents. And you know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, Peter, how do you intend to go about the way? You know, as a wealthy man that he is, and as a wealthy man that you are impersonating, you, you need to do a societal wedding. I mean, a solid wedding. That's true. Chairman of China. Udugu. Udugu of China. You know, the script of this movie has been written. You guys are my actors, while I'm your director. Let's shoot the film. You want us to shoot it? My shop at the market, I made a little cash from there. And I still want to sell my car to execute all of my plans. I'm game. So are we good to go on this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm featuring here now. 100%. Oh, hey. oh my God. I'm so, 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 so happy. I Thank did. you so much. I'm, 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 I'm going to say very good. What's that getting you? Thank you. You get deep, Aisha. Hey. Hey. No, this is not happening. It has happened. Oh my God. What happens to our wedding? Like, no money for our wedding. My cake, the designer. Okay, the, I've already spoken to the TV stations, the magazines, my wedding dress. This is not happening. Hey! Um, Sophia, I just want you to know that I mean it. I'm not joking about it. I just can't wait to make you my wife. You know you're so precious to me. Oh, please stop. You're making me shy. You know, all my life, I've been searching for a soulmate like you. But I found none. Come on. I want you to know that God has his own way of doing things. Hmm? Um, I was going to ask you. Where would you want us to have our honeymoon? Like what country? <laughs> it has to be here. Like, let's just stay in Nigeria. It's good. Nigeria. Because I've been to almost all the countries. When I was a toddler, my father used to carry me around for his business trips and all that. I see. Um, I see. One more question. We 
will you marry me? Yes. Oh, she said yes. to meet that man that said he wants to help me. You had an appointment with him, right? I'm tired. I'm tired. Just... tired. You're tired? You're already tired? Just one week after you lost your job, you're tired? You don't want to hustle. You don't want to struggle. You don't want to go out there to get for, get another job or something. You're already tired. Baby, I'm the one that lost the job, not you. And if there is anybody that will be more concerned and bothered about this whole thing, it's me. Eh? Really Just don't worry, give me some time. I mean, I will sort these things out. I will. It, it's okay. It's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, if you must know, the man I am supposed to go and see travel to Abuja. So I'm waiting for his return. When he comes back, I'll go and see him. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, why are you explaining? It's okay now. I heard you. It's fine. <laughs> mm. Um, Val, don't start. Don't. I just want you to put this at the back of your mind. That a lazy man cannot marry you. Yes. A poor man cannot marry me. A jobless man cannot marry me. You better go and hustle. I'm just telling you. Because, <clears throat> You said your own now. Nobody has heard my voice. Next time you say, eh, 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 Olivia, you're too expensive. Olivia, you're too materialistic. Nobody's hearing my voice. I mean, we're having a conversation, right? We're just talking. That's fine. Um, <laughs> Money is important in this case here. Yaka men no na chokwa Jai But domestic guy, workers That guy is so romantic Like I've never seen any businessman as romantic as he is in my whole life Hey 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 Don't get it twisted okay Because my husband is more romantic uh, Tell her that I'm romantic Yes I'm telling her already <laughs> Why is it that people always have this impression that we, the businessmen, are not romantic? That's because all you people think about is money, 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 and mm. money. Yes. Um, Daddy, Peter said he's going to treat me like his daughter. And he's going to treat me better than the way both of you are treating me. And <laughs> guess what he calls me? He calls me is apple of his eyes. Really? Mm hmm Oh, that's nice. Honey, I think that guy is a perfect match for my daughter. Um, I'm so happy to hear him say that. As a matter of fact, your wedding will be the best on earth. Yes! <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> you just go and tell him that your dad and your mom are coming to make both of you happy. Okay? Yes, mommy. <laughs> I will go and see where he lives. If I find out he lives well, like he said, mm -hmm. then leave the rest up to me. Daddy, Peter is rich. <laughs> so why do you need to visit him? Are you doubting him? Nobody is doubting him. Just allow your dad to do this. Honey, I only want to pay him a visit. In short, you are going to go with us. Tell him we are coming with you. I'm happy we all understood everything. We are all playing this game together. I'm counting on each and every one of you, and I promise we are not going to regret this. Recipe. Yeah. 
There's nothing to be afraid of. Now they work what would they do? We all have been doing this way back in school. Really? So don't worry, you can count on us. See, you don't have to worry about us. All you need though is to make sure you get yourself well covered. As for me and my crew, <laughs> we are good and we are good to go. Sabi, Sabi. I'm okay, I'm okay. I was born ready. Let's roll now. Hi. I would say I like how each and every one of you just sounded. It then told you are already we're good to go on this. We all know I had to spend my last cobble to make sure I put things in place. I wouldn't want us to fail in any area or aspect. Hold on, excuse me, my phone is ringing. Oh, oh, guess what? She don't call it. Yeah, hello, my morning star. My joy. My inestimable value. Uh, so how am I in laws doing today, baby? Oh, they are happy. I expected it. I'm happy too. Okay, no problems, baby. Oh. They said they'll be coming to my house tomorrow. It's okay, they're welcome anytime, any day. My home is their home. All right, baby. Um, I will have to go now. I'll talk to you later. And I love you too, baby. Mm. All right. Bye. Oh. Guys, 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 guys. You don't boss. You don't wow, 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 wow. So, 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 Listen, guys. Do you know what just happened now? The job just started. You know what? She just said that the parents will be coming to my house tomorrow. So we are moving into that house tonight. Wow! Who was it for now? Wow, we've got to get a job. Wow, 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 Come on, I hope you're not going to stressing yourself. You're thinking about all these old shit. What do you expect? Eh? What do you expect me to do? Where's Pascal? Ah, uh, Pascal is in the office. I told him you were waiting for us here and uh, I'll meet you up first. Don't worry, he'll join us in a jiffy. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. My brother, my life is crumbling. My life is taking another turn that I don't understand. Seriously. Eh? What have I done that this man decides to frustrate my life? What? Eh? What have I done? I lost my job. I lost everything completely. See, let me be frank with you. If I find out that this man is involved in this whole thing, if I find out that he has a hand in this whole thing, I will kill him all. I will kill him. I mean it. Uh, did you ask the manager? No, I didn't. You know, I've, I've been very... Hey, come on, come on, come on. I've been very busy. I was with him the other day, but never mind, I'll, I'll speak to him. Hey, so what are you saying about Olivia? My brother, that girl is something else. Oh. Yes, she's pretty, she takes care of my home, she knows how to cook, very importantly. She, she cleans everywhere, she's very neat. But when it comes to money, Olivia turns to something else. She becomes a tigress. The Olivia that you and I know, will not be the same thing again. Seriously. My brother, do you know that she even threatened 
to call off the wedding if I don't get a job before then. I knew it. Val, I knew it. I knew that girl was never going to stay where there is no comfort. But can you think of it? What makes her think that you cannot take care of her without a job? Olivia wants a societal, big societal wedding. That I cannot afford. I even thought of going to take a loan so that I can fulfill her heart desires, her dreams of that societal wedding. But look at me. How can I fulfill all this for her? You know how I got my house. The car I'm driving, I have not even finished paying for. I will soon be leaving the house now that I have lost my job with the bank. How do I cope? Val, don't worry. Eh? I understand. You see, I'll come over to the house and we'll talk everything over. Please. Babe, are you sure this people are going to come? Don't worry. Everything is under control. Okay. Kill me if you say so. I'm waiting. Let me do that right. I love what I'm saying. Thank you. This is my hotel. Welcome to for me. Hi. Hello, baby. Please, please, you can't just abandon me now, now, please. Eh? I don't you know what I'm going through. Please, I'm I'm not abandoning you. I'm probably going back to my parents' house. What is really difficult for you to understand? What? My dear, whenever you get your job, you can come back. Okay. You want me to stay here, so by the time the van comes here and disgrace you, you can disgrace me, right? Is that what you want? No, no. Huh? No, no. What's it? Keep trying. I mean, who gets married to a jobless man? Who? For the time, go and get a job. I'm not abandoning you. I'm just going to my parents' house to relax. What is really difficult for you to understand? What? When you get a job, you can come less plan for this wedding. Oh, respect yourself, Valentine. Don't stop me again. Respect yourself. Are you mad? You dare crazy. You better be picking this for you. For punish you there. How you want to do it? How do Hey, 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 Welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, I told my daughter here that I was going to pay you a visit. And I'm now convinced that you're capable of taking care of my daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I would like to tell you one thing. I have decided to sponsor your wedding single-handedly. Wow, thank you, Daddy. <laughs> thank you. Oh, my God. Um, but, Chief, I still say no to that. Why worry yourself? 
I had already mapped out 30 million naira to sponsor our wedding. So permit me to spoil your people on that very day. Such a nice boy. Um, Peter. Please, my son. Allow us to spoil you both. You don't know how much we've been waiting for such a man to come and have our daughter. Um, mommy, I still insist. I say no. Why don't you people allow me to take care of this wedding? During time for child education, you guys can come here and do whatever you want to do. Um, Peter, I insist. Read my lips, I insist. Do you know who you're getting married to? Take a good look at her. <laughs> That is my princess, the most beautiful girl in the world. Oh my god. The heir to my entire empire. Oh yeah? So please, as a matter of fact, my company abroad that produces drug has decided to sponsor the wedding on their own. Mm. Um, um, Chief, please permit me to do this. You know I'm a man. Allow me to take care of my responsibility. That's my duty. Baby, listen, you just stop dragging with that. Because this man here, this man that I know will never give up. And you surely lose. Exactly, this man here will never give up. The most important thing is that you will look after our daughter. Please, reserve that money to take care of her herself. And still, you will spend the money on her. Like she said, Peter, I am not begging you. Mm -hmm. I am going to do it anyway. <laughs> now I want you to forward my account number to my phone so that I can transfer the money in it. <laughs> Sorry? What is this? No, 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 no. Vaughn. Come on now. Not you again. I say you met the wrong woman. Okay? I believe you still get the right one. Just put yourself together. It's not the end of the world now. Vaughn. Come on, not you again. Come on. Uh, Johnson. Yeah. Please. Can I at least move in with you? Please. At least when I'm able to get a small, even if it's a small apartment, where I can settle down just for some time, a month or some weeks, so that I'll be able to get, even if it's a small apartment, where I can stay. Because I've lost everything in this apartment, I've lost it. Val, what are friends for? Hey, that's not a problem. Anytime you're come ready, on, just come move on. in. Come on now. Thank you. Nami, they beg me, stay with me. Do you say up. Okay. I see Val. Val. You did disappoint, oh. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, come on. Say, woman, leave, and you're, you're feeling like this. Cheer up now. See, girls, eh? I told you this plan will work perfectly. I said it was going to work. I know my friend. I'm so happy the plan finally worked. The wedding worked out well. Everything worked out according to plan. Hey, so happy. Yeah, guy, what's up, hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we packed, we packed them at the warehouse you told us to keep them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've we've given him the money. He will push it into your account. Yes, we counted it. It was um, eight point five million naira. Yeah, bro, yeah, bro. Uh, we are there. We are there. No wala, no. We are there. All right, buddy. No wala. <laughs> hey, it is good to marry a rich man's daughter. See, as money, they flow like water. Did you see the way they were spraying? Money was everywhere, man. The, the goods they, they had there is, is, if it's compared to money, it's what over 2.5 million naira. Why won't the money be up to? Don't you know that that man is highly connected? Hey! Fear for your friend. What if they eventually find out that he's not really who he is? Oh. oh, afraid of what now? I said my friend Peter is a sharp guy. They know if you catch this guy, they can't get him. I know him. See, 
that girl now, she is deeply in love. Even if they get to know later on, she can't go back anymore because she is in love. And that is the most important thing. Let's enjoy money. As for me, in my next world, I want to become a billionaire's daughter. And I will not marry someone like Peter. <laughs> I want that kind of money to follow me. Eh? You don't like this one? No, I don't like it. Why? I prefer oh, this. No, it's fine now. Come on. See how fine I'm looking here. It's only like so I just put it into that. Three weeks, one month, I'm gone. Please. Say, Val, I, I understand your predicament. I do. Oh, you see, my mother and my siblings will be coming over to stay with me. And you know, it's just a room and Palo apartment. To be congested. I don't know. It took me time to, to muster that courage to tell you this. Okay? You can do something. Hey, come on. Please, I can lead down. Come on, first stop. When you do this, you make me feel. Come on now. You've been around, haven't you? Like, you can imagine my mom changing right before you. The room will be compacted. Please, just try and understand with me. The stress of, I don't know, no privacy. Please, understand with me, okay? I beg of you. I know how I know how it is. I know, but you can. You can still do something now. You can you can talk to one or two persons, huh? But domestic workers, 
Chadi a bia kwa mdodo You must employ them Pay them money to work The buy a food Madam, thank you. Hello. Welcome, sir. Oh. Um, Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you. Oh, you're Rita. How are you guys doing? We're fine, sir. We're good. Um, where, where are the cars? Oh, I'm so sorry that I, I didn't tell you I called my mechanic earlier to pick them up for service. So, Rita. Did he tell you when he's going to bring, bring them back? Um, he just took the car yesterday. I'll call him to find out when it's my minute. Okay, honey. Why don't you go inside as I speak to you and I'm so famished, I'm fainting. Um, you guys should get the stops from the trunk. <laughs> I have more than 300 million naira in your bank. And I am ready to open more accounts to enhance your chances of being elevated to a higher echelon in your bank. You see, we own these banks and we tell them what to do. Yeah, you're right, sir. My friend Val will leave my house today, sir. Really? I swear down to That's next it today, sir. That's good. Uh, sir, I... I, I don't want to lose my job, sir. Just make sure you don't render any type of help to him. Else, I will make sure you lose your job. Ha. Sir, I promise your request will be granted to the later. I will never disappoint you. I promise you, sir. Security man. I look of flex. May you come, Miss Ever get hunger. He will do no such thing. He is just an empty vessel, and you know they make the most noise. Allow him to rant. Do not underestimate this boys. Don't just look at it from speaking as an empty vessel. Please, you must get him arrested. And if you don't do it, I will do it myself. Honey, calm down. What can a male banker who just lost his job do to an odogo like me? As a matter of fact, I have plans to make him suffer even more. He will feel my rot. Well, no, really? There's no problem. Um, Sophia and her husband, are back already from honeymoon. Why so fast? I don't know. But I guess Peter had a problem. But she wouldn't say it. I've already asked them to come around. And what could that be? Please make sure she comes immediately. Immediately.
for you guys take it easy man I'm telling you guys to take it easy the rich you're going to get into trouble you don't threaten that man okay he's, he's a rich man and I'm telling you he has a capacity of putting you behind bars for the rest of your life is that so so because he's a rich man is that the reason that you that you have the opportunity to frustrate poor people is that the reason why he should treat anybody where he likes because he's a rich man let me ask you is it by force that I must marry his daughter? Is it by force? No. It is not by force. I know. Oh, in the first place, what were you doing in that place? What are you going to do? That is why you need to calm down. That is why you need to calm down. You see, I am the only one connected to you who knows about these apart from Pal, apart from Pascal. You see, you don't, you don't issue our friends. Take this matter. You see, I'm going to talk to that man, okay? I'll go and talk to him, I promise you, okay? And I'm sure he would, he would, he's one person that can get you back on that. I don't care, Johnson. I don't care. As a matter of fact, I don't even want to job again. Uh, yes. What for? Oh, so it was Chief Ibojini that threatened you. That is why you had the mind to lie to me, your friend. And you told me that your mother was coming. It's like, Johnson, you have just told me, leave my house. That is what you should have done. Instead of lying to me, to tell me your mother was coming, and that is why you, 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 oh, God, God. So, just check me. No, no. Come so, on. Calm down, please. Chima, can you hold him for me? Let me rush to my parents' house. Okay, come on. Peter, Peter, she has gone. She has gone to get the money. She has gone to get the money. You mean she has gone? Exactly. Wait. Do you know my plans are? You see those wedding gifts? Okay. All of it. I want to sell them immediately. I want you to get the keys to the store. Eh? Okay. Good. Nice one. Consider it done. Oh, man. When I eat it, China. I'm coming. I'm very much man, I believe you. Good as well. doubt about that see Peter is a very good actor mm -hmm. that girl loves him and let her go and tell her father so that Peter can get this money anything Peter tells her she will do I have a feeling that this whole thing is going to back to us and when it does all of us are going for it Shh. don't say such a thing nothing will backfire hmm? Peter and this girl they are one Anything he asks her to do, she will do. Peter doesn't have a friend that will sabotage him. Let's just wait and allow this girl to give him this money and let's enjoy our lives. Do people have hearts? Ah, ah. See the way your friend is playing such expensive game to these people. Well, my own is just to collect my own big share of the money. That's it. Anything for the money. Maybe I'm okay. Let's go.
Must you keep me waiting at the gate for donkey years before you open it? Madam, I'm sorry. I'm not yasin like this. I'm sorry. You're sorry. Will I be sorry? Will I be sorry? Nonsense. Madam, I feel it won't happen again. Madam, it won't happen again. Madam, welcome. And you? It's now you heard my voice. Eh? Eh? I'm so sorry. I was speaking in the kitchen. Come on, will you shut up? Okay. Come on, go and get the things I bought in the car. Yes, and you, next time you try this again, I will kill you if I fire you. Oh, sorry, ma'am. You, don't tell me you're still cooking. Uh, yes. What is yes? You've been cooking since I left the house. So if my husband comes back now and says he's hungry, what do you want me to give to him to eat? Eh? Madam, I'm sorry. You, you, you bought another meat. We still have plenty of meat in the house. Then throw it away. Since you can't wash it and put it in the fridge. Nonsense. They will drink the book. It's a shame. She never gets old. I see. She can't even say it. She can't even say she never gets old. She can't even say she never gets old. Can she cook? I go down. Bitch. You can't drink the book. 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 Rita, this is for you. Don't wow. Do. First, all this for me. Don't mention it. <laughs> Thank <please>. you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, wow. Chima. Wow, world. Well, how are you? I have to chase two days, man. Oh. I'm working my guy. Sabine. And this is for you, too. Thank Thank you. You. Wait, job well done. <laughs> you see, this is real cash. Ego, real money. Hmm? You're making me proud. That's why you're my good friend. And now we are done with this uh, money galore. What's the next plan? For now, I just want to be wild. I will be so mean. I want to frustrate her that she will no longer be interested in marrying me. Because that girl loves you so much. I don't even know how she's going to cope doing the house chores as well. She looks so soft. It's none of my business. I really don't care. As I'm talking to you guys now, you see that house? I've bought it from the real owner. It's wow. now my personal wow. house. Wow. I just can't wait to go into solid investment. I know that whatever happens, Chief cannot come back to collect the whole money that is given to me. Oh, God. Wow, 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 wow. Well, it's okay. It's all fine. Let's share for the process. Well, let's just let's share for the process. Let's share for the process. this morning and I couldn't find our mates. Where are they? I called their names but none of them answered me. You know what? They've all gone. Gone? To where? How? I don't understand. And if you must know, they complain that they don't like how you talk to them. You speak to them <laughs> as if they are some kindergartens. You don't talk to them like they are your fellow women. Okay, fine. <laughs> They expect me to lie down and worship them. Is that what they want? Okay, I should clap for them. Every single thing they do, I should clap. I have their types in my father's house. So whenever they make mistakes, I have to scold them. It's okay. No problems. It's fine. No problems at all. You know what's going to happen? From today onwards, we're going to live like this. And I was going to ask you, is there anything for me to eat? Um, well, I bought food at a restaurant, so you can just go to the kitchen and fix something for yourself. What? You did what? You got me food from the restaurant? Mm-hmm. What for? Are you not supposed to be cooking in this house? For Christ's sake, I'm your husband, and I'm meant to be eating from your pots. Why are you being so harsh? You know what? From this moment, I don't want you to ever tell your parents whatever I play in this house. You're going to live in this house alone with me. You're going to learn how to cook, how to wash, how to do everything. No more house helps, no more get man, no more nothing. Did you hear me? Can you just stop being harsh on me? 
Honey. Saying it to our own God. Forget about your parents. They've lived their lives. We're just starting out. Please stop running to them over the little thing that happens in this house. You and I, we're in this together. You know, I love you. And I love you so much. Oh, okay. Um, listen, I want to prepare porridge. So, how many will be enough for me to cook? Mm, your porridge will be needed like three. Three will be enough. Oh, three. So, it's how much? One is 400. Okay, just wrap it. The three will be. Alright. Um, hi. Welcome, customer. This is how much? How do you sell? You see, 600 naira for one. How many do you want? Listen. I want to prepare stew. So, how many will be enough? Mm, three. Three will be enough for you. Three, that's one, one eight. eight. Okay, please just wrap it. Alright, take. This is one cup. I don't really have to take. I'm just keep it. Wow. Um, Thank you. Uh, Thank you're welcome. You. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Come next time, yeah. I'm very grateful. Oh, wow. My dear, do you know this girl? Hmm. I know how. She is this only child. Don't you see that she don't even know how to do again? Game. I'm happy that she came to my shop. Hey. Yeah, me too. Do you do for this life? Now? One day, one day. Big a jam or something. A jab no one do can no never A man of no zubi can no nasu tori. If I was a little Hey, Chica, what was she telling you about? I don't believe Sophia will be something like this on film. She was beating me to her how to cook. Hey! How can she be cooking? Shh. Don't bring me to trouble. She don't want my madam to know she's cooking. She's cooking stew and coffee. Why? She has made. How can she be cooking? Shh. She's done it for us. Don't bring me to trouble. And who is cooking? When there's a meeting. Mm -hmm. Um, a very have a place. Go on. No. Are you tired of talking? You don't want to talk again. Who are you talking about? Who is cooking when there are mates? Mom, we're only discussing what we saw. Liar! Keep quiet! Oh, fool. If I lay my hand on you, you will live to regret it. Are you a bear? Speak up. Jordan, she really wants to know about it. Know Chica. about it? Tell her. Mm -hmm. Auntie Sophia, ma. What happened to Sophia? Chica. Will she gonna speak up? Cooking, ma. Sorry, ma. So, she said we should not let you know that she's cooking. She's doing what? She's cooking, ma. Okay. How? When they are mates? No. That can't be. Never. Don't put me in trouble, 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 
Man, nice old man. Welcome to the class of the rich men. <laughs> mm, you know, um, Shima, I was actually thinking if I should go into a rice importation. A rice importation? <laughs> no, 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 no. Tomatoes is the next business that moves. Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> exactly. You see? You see? My next traveling to China. I want to produce tomatoes. That is my next investment. Seriously? <laughs> I'm telling you. So, um, in other words, why don't you and I just go into partnership and do this together? <laughs> hey! What are friends for? What are friends for, Izzy? There is one thing I like about you. I like the way you are investing your money. <sighs> what would I have done without you, without your business acumen? What are friends for? What is the of the rich man? Oh, no, China. China. You help me. You put go one na evil land. You've given yourself a self acclaimed title. <laughs> Probably more drink there. Probably more drink there. Chica, I really need your help. Okay, I want to learn how to cook, but I don't want my parents to know about it. Yes, you know I'm married now. Okay. Okay, you can just do your research and get back to me. Thank you. I'm waiting for your call. Alright. Come on, Angel. Yeah, yeah. What is going on? Where is your people? Where are your houses? And besides, where are your husband's cars? Well, as for my husband's cars, the mechanic took them. My mates, it is all my fault. They had to leave because they weren't comfortable with the way I was talking to them. So since then, your husband couldn't get another one? My, my husband is planning on getting new one soon. Listen to me. You can't do it all alone. <coughs> oh, you are even coughing. No, tell me, why won't you cough when you are suffering here? Only you will do the house chores, clean up everywhere, open the gates, do the cooking. Look at the whole big house. How can you survive this? And you're here telling me that all is well. Mommy, I'm not suffering. I'm okay. Jeez. Running temperature. Angel. Why pretending? Stop protecting this man. Now listen to me. Tell him. The first thing they should do when he comes back to make sure he gets to his house up. Even if he's single one. You can't go through like this. <coughs> Look at you. <coughs> Why don't you go home and talk with me? It's a bad cook, no, no. That in the way you know one do. Oh, that is so funny. Come on to watch the lady. She can't go through like this. Though she costed herself. Come on to watch the lady. And uh, Peter seems to be nonchalant about it. No, not my daughter. How long will she continue to suffer? Peter, I'm going to call him tomorrow about this. But one thing I want to understand, how could all the maids and get man leave at once? Something is wrong somewhere. I've warned her several about it. But she wouldn't listen to me. The way and manner she talks to these people. It's not supposed to be so. Oh. It, 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 to the extent, I believe that was the same thing that happened to her own maid. <laughs> now imagine. She's the one that does the cooking, the washing. She will go to the market all alone. My own daughter. Huh? Because I believe she's the reason all those maids left the house in the first oh, place. Oh, the reason she cost it. Huh? And remember, it is very difficult to hire maids. Especially ones that are full of evil that could come to your house and ruin your daughter's life. Chief, please do something. The suffering is enough. Please.
Oh God, will my husband like this food? Please God help me. That shit you made in there, you call for. So at your age, you still don't know how to cook? Please, calm down. You know I've not cooked before. And um, the way my parents trained me. But don't worry, I will not prove. Hmm? Look at the concussion you made in there, you call still. Listen, you just have to improve. Else, I am going to bring another woman into this house. Please don't say that. You know I love you. And you are hurting me. <laughs> if it's for the food, I'll learn. I'm a sports child, I know. But I just need you to help me grow. That's okay. That's for that food. I'm going to eat that food. But I just want you to improve. I will improve. Please do. Um, my mom was here. She also asked why they were not in the house. And I told her it's all my fault. That's why they left. Ah, good talk. Honey, it's a high time we don't allow the real life anymore. I know they love you, but they love you too. All I'm asking for is just for you to improve. Because I don't have any plans of bringing any money to this house. Mm -hmm. will come back to me. He promised me that he would treat me better, more than my parents. I thought I found love and never knew it will come back to me. Where is the promise, baby? Where is the promise, my love? <laughs> Honey, don't tell me you've written this fast just because you're sweeping. I haven't done this before, but I'm almost done. I understand. You have to be fast, yeah. You know I'll be stepping out as soon as possible. And uh, you need to warm that food for me to eat before going out. Remember I have some dirty clothes you need to wash. Since the washing machine is faulty. Hmm? Alright, baby. I learned the things my parents were supposed to teach me. <sighs> I'm very sure they'll be happy for me now. Mm. Come on, Sophia. Be strong. I can't give up now. <sighs> What's wrong? 
Why are you shivering? I don't know. I've been feeling sick since, since I finished working. <laughs> oh my god. Guilt is not your fault. So because of the little house chores you did, you felt sick. I don't blame you. Tell him nothing. No, no, no. I didn't. Your food is on the dining. It's just help me save yourself. Um, I need, I need some medicine. Just help me, please. It's okay. Um, I will help you go and get the drugs. Uh, I was gonna tell you that I'm traveling tomorrow. I will see you at that by the time I return. I'm a problem. Not mm -hmm. to talk and when oh God, Madame, don't come back. Now be the team. Chica, I I know we need salary because it would be nice if we all join hands together to say it to avoid what is going to happen. What is afraid of this? Hmm? What can Madame do on her own in this house? She don't know how to cook. She don't know how to wash. Even her party, she cannot wash. So I'm not afraid of losing any job because I know how much she wants us in this house. See, this is an opportunity for us to make big money here. I've said my own. Hey, Barry, you don't mind this one. Oh. All he knows is how to open the gate and close it. We are the ones who know the chores in this house, so he's left for you to decide. Mm -hmm. Ha! Chica, I think we are right. Mm -hmm. There's something in this house. Mm -hmm. And let me ask you, how much are you going to ask for? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't talk my own. No, besides, no one time. But if you won't commit this crime, we will commit time together. I want 50,000 to be my own salary. Simple! Uh, Chica! Uh -huh. Is it much? 50,000? You don't want for a bank? I've said my own. Let me go back to my job. How are you going to do it? They go. I'm going to come before my bank. More than one month now, we've not visited. My angel, it's like you're just coming back. Oh, yes, I just did. I went to drop my husband at the airport. He traveled? Who? Oui, oui. We are the one locking that gate. Yes. <coughs> what can you imagine? <laughs> See Sophia locking the gate. So it is true that you no longer have maids and get men in this house? 
and Peter is not doing anything to rectify the situation I wonder. by hiring new ones. I wonder. Come on, Daddy, we don't need them. But if it's for this issue you came here for, then I'll be forced to tell you both the truth. What truth? truth. The truth that you've rather been killing me than protecting me. No, you are getting it wrong. We are only trying to give you the best comfort. That's what we were doing. That is all. Mommy, all this started since I was a child. I always find two days to get my school back from me. What? Okay! Okay! What have you been waiting for to bring her school back? I'm just packing her. You should leave what? Packing for how long? Will you get to the school back from her? Let me get this. Okay. You rest. You're not You're in jail, okay? Mm. No sense. You spoiled me. Now I can cook, I can wash, I can do house chores. I'm proud to say that I'm a better girl than I was before. My angel, you're getting it wrong. We're just trying to give you the best we can. My princess, you are all that we have. If I die today, who will take care of this man? Large business empire. You! Besides, I don't want anybody taking advantage of you as a gold digger. The world will see you as cheap. Exactly. You are my princess. The heir apparent to this empire. Therefore, your husband has to hire more maids and get man. It is not your duty to lock up this gate. It is not your duty to wash your clothes, to do those house chores. Daddy, please, leave my husband out of this. I am in my husband's house, and I'm happy. I'm happy with what I'm doing. I love you both, but I think you have to leave. Sorry? <laughs> Sophia, are you out of your mind? That we should leave. Yes, Mom. I'm in my husband's house. And if you people can't accept what we are doing, then leave. I'm enjoying every bit of what I do. <sighs> hey, madam, I, I've been waiting for you. Don't worry, I'll sort everything out. Thank you. My angel. How are you doing? Oh yes, I'm fine. And mom, daddy, I want to ask you for something. I need money to to start business. I'm still finding it very hard to comprehend what you just said. That my own princess wants to start up a business. No, wait, I just listen. I want it to be as a surprise to him. Like, he doesn't know about it. I've seen a job and I want to start a business. Your husband's business has gone down again. And he is feeling so shy to come and beg for money. Please tell him that I'm willing to help him because of you. But, please, just try and consider. Listen, the more you say this, the more you get me angry. Do you know what you're saying? You are my princess. My only child. The heir to this empire. What is your problem? Anything you do for this life, you must pay. One day, one day, you know, go for Jail, go go. I am super excited. You know what I'm very happy. Oh, just say why. You know what, I just eat that meal. And that meal I have is something that's so delicious. Now tell me, maybe you want that mega meal or someone else did. Do you know that? I eat that meal. 
and it was so delicious. I said I was going to ask you, you didn't want to make it, or someone else did. Well, I did. Oh my good God. That was so amazing. I'm so happy for you. I'm proud of the woman you've become, baby. Oh, thanks, baby. I got the shop and I paid for it already. I won't start a business. What for? Listen, you've really done well for me. You opened my eyes to to see the world in a different view. You know, I used to feel that. Life is all about getting people to do all the things. So I want to work. I want to have something done. Something I can say, I'm going to work. <laughs> do you know that I'm so moved? Like, tell me about it. Chica, do you know that the sofa has really, really changed? Oga and Madam really want her to keep being idle. And we are the ones that deserve to suffer. Can you imagine? They want one of us to go there. So that whoever that is left in this house will suffer and die in Abbey. When we ask them to increase our salary, they refuse. Now they want us to suffer even more. Eh? See, I'm very tired. I'm tired. I'm going in there to pack my things. And I'm going. I don't know about you. I'm with you, Oberi. Let Madam come and do this chores. Let's see now. Eh? Let's see if she can do it. Me, I'm going. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, you see, I don't want your parents to feel bad. I would want all of this maid to come over here. As for the business, I think it has to pause for now. Wait. Are you turning your back on me? No. Oh, come on, you made me strong. And now, you just want to leave me like that? Listen, as for those maids, none will enter this house. If I would die doing house chores, then let me die. Honey, you are not going to die. You are not dying. I would rather assist you in doing most of these things. I don't want your parents to crucify me. Don't worry. They won't. Hmm? And as for that business, I will surely do it. Even if it means me boring. I will. Oh God. Why did you... Why am I the only child? You should have just allowed me to come from a very poor background. We have been able to do things my own and cry my own. Honey, don't speak like this. You don't know what it means coming from a poor family. Just count yourself lucky that you're a daughter of a rich man. Hmm? You know, you love me. Honey, yes, I think I know what I would do to Peter. Until he refuses to accept these girls. Please, call them to get me more mango. Hey, Barry! Hey, Barry! Ma! Where are you going like this? Ma, I want to thank you people for the employment now. We really appreciate it. But we don't want to walk in here. We want to go now. We don't want to walk in here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, you, you, you come in. Come on. Come on. So you joined them? Mm -hmm. Eh? Mm -hmm. I don't have your time yet. I will revisit your issue. Come get out of my sight! Can you imagine? What a conspiracy. Okay, talk I got never one don't a conspire, let me know now. This true want to kill me. <laughs> Anything you do hey. for this life. Uh, one day, Baby. one day. I just want you to take me to that man that you made that payment. Why? Why would we take so much money from you? Oh come on. Let's just forget it. <laughs> just forget it. We should forget it. We're talking about money, we should forget it. No way. Okay, fine, I will. But promise me you won't fight. Oh, come on. You just sounded like you no longer know your husband. Am I a fighter? I'm not going to fight. So, um, you tell me, when are you going to take me back? Wow. 
Right now. I was wondering if you could visit our daughter on Sunday. You know it's been a while I visited her. You can go. I will never set my feet into the house anymore. Oh, come on. It's too harsh. Remember our daughter is pregnant now. You continue to hold stiff with them for a long time. I've tried to do with you to let it go since we had it. Oh, you are now encouraging me uh, to join them, right? No, I am not. I know exactly what I'm looking for. To deal with that fool, I will show him what I'm made of. Can't you see how he has destroyed our daughter's future in the name of no it all? Yes? Good afternoon, sir. Yes, what is it? Sir, someone wants to see you. Bring him in. Yes, sir. I couldn't make it to your office like I promised. That's my problem, Chief. That's where I came from. I heard I left the file in my car. I am not in the mood to sign anything now. Imagine that fool. He can now stand before me and challenge me because he thinks he has made money. Eh? Has he forgotten how I helped him when his containers crashed in the sea? Well, he should consider himself lucky because I allowed him to marry my daughter. I'm sorry. Do you know him? Yes, ma. He happens to bank with us. He operates a very, I mean, a small business I know of. <laughs> I'm sure it's not the same Peter we're talking about that you're making reference to now. Of course. I know him very well. Very, 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 very well. He stays, uh, he used to live around my family house, close to the riverside. Ask about him. They'll tell you. He's a chief. His life changed ever since he married your daughter. I, I, I was shocked when you said his goods went into the water. The Peter you and I know doesn't do importation business. He only buys from importers. He has a small shop I know and one small. That's enough. You can go. Thank you, ma. Yeah. You may excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> what? Wonder well, shall never end. I can, are you? <laughs> Anything you do for this life. One day, one day, you got a job for something. Get a boom, no one. Where is my brother? Go in there and hand her over to me. Else you have me to contend with. What's the matter now? Hey, me, please. Do not mom me, okay? We trusted you. Just go in there, go and get my daughter. You frost her. Criminal. My princess. My princess, from today, this criminal here ceases to be your husband. And if you refuse to go home with us, I will disown you. Daddy, why are you using such words on my husband? He's your first time. He forced it in for himself just to marry me. Oh, don't worry. We've already found out who he is. Papa, Dad, why are you saying all of this about me? I never changed my name but God did. Right from the one you've known me as Peter Collins of Peter Collins Ventures. So what is it that you found out first about me? That you were an Aboro man. That this mansion you're claiming does not belong to you. Exactly. That you were not an importer, mm -hmm. nor an exporter. You were nothing but a common criminal. Hey! If I'm lying, I want you to prove me wrong. Okay, sir. I heard you. Just one minute. Mommy, we 
Where did you get this false information about my husband? Okay, yes. He used to be an agro, like you said. Then later he made it. So what's the crime there? Or did he tell us that he's a saint from heaven? Hey, hey, listen. Stay out of this. Okay? Stay out of it. And let's handle it. Sir. You say that's fouls. Go through them. You say that's house? The motor park I owe. The business name? The goods I told you about. Find out more to yourself. Go through them. Thank you. 